Hello, my name is Stars, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the World UI Chip. Now, I know you're probably already wondering, what is a World UI Chip? What is that? Well, a World UI Chip is basically a chip that will allow you to have a text above your display name. You usually will find this in militaries, hangout rooms, or any other room you come across in Rec Room. Now, the method I'm going to teach you will not only allow you to be able to give yourself a text above your display name, but give anyone else a text above their display name of your choosing. But don't get away with it though, abide the code of conduct. Now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now before we start anything, you want to make sure your room allows beta content features. Because the World UI chip is not actually a chip that's officially out yet, it's in beta. So to do that, you want to go to your watch. And then go to this room, go to settings, and then scroll down. And then you'll see allow creator tool beta content. You'll click that, you'll be prompt to save your room, you click save on the room, and after that, it will be enabled, and then you'll be able to see the world UI chip. Okay? Now we can begin the video. Okay, once you have your room to allow beta features, we can now begin. Now, these are the chips you are going to need to be able to make this. You can take the time to pause the video to go ahead and spawn these in. And then once you're done, you can come back and then we can go continue. But once you have these spawned in, you want to grab your maker pen. And then go to connect. And then wire this to the input of prompt local player. And after that, you want to go to configure. And then you want to configure these, to, configure these prompt titles. And you can configure them to anything you want or anything you want them to say. But for the time being of this video, I'm going to make them just say hi. Okay, once you have these prompt titles set up, we can now go back wiring. You want to go to connect again. And after that, you want to wire the response of this prompt local player to get player by display name. And then wire the response of this local player to set player where you are text value. And then wire the complete of this local player to the input of this local player. And then wire the complete of this local player and wire it to the display player world UI. Once you have that wired up, you want to get, get player by display name again. And then wire it to this. Then grab this again. And then wire it to display player world UI again. And then after that, you want to configure player world UI chip. Go to chip settings, scroll down until you see text. Once you see the text section, you want to make sure that is enabled so you can actually see people's text. So after that, you want to click connect. And then you want to wire this to display player or UI. And then once you have that all set up, you want to wire the display player or UI to set player or UI text value so basically the output to the input and once that's done we are now done wiring and it should work and to prove that it actually does work i have my friend go sit right here and i will use it to prove that he act it actually works so i'm gonna click this button right here and then i'm gonna type in his display name go sit and then after that, click OK. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and just type in hi. And then as you can see, you can see his display name. And it says hi. So that means it works. If it doesn't work, that means you most likely wire something wrong. Uh, if you ever do it, wire something wrong, uh, you can talk to, up to me in the comments. Um, and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can to help you out. But uh, yeah. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you run into any issues or have any questions, like I said, just type it in the comments. I'll try to respond to you as fast as I can. And uh, yeah. Bye-bye.